I'm here in Iceland, the land of volcanoes, ice and bananas. I've heard a rumour that they are growing bananas here. So I've come to meet Bakor, who's a gardener at the Agricultural College of Iceland, to find out more. Wow, Bakor, this is amazing. I never thought I would see bananas growing in Iceland. How do you get them to grow? Well, it's actually everything to, uh, has to do about the heat. We want to keep the bananas warm, so they'll grow and they'll become bigger and nice. And is these pipes something to do with it? Well, they uh, bring in the hot water, so we can create the perfect and the correct climate for the bananas to thrive. Interesting. And where, where do you get the hot water from? It's drilled into the ground, and then we push with pumps the water directly up. And it's so hot that it comes up as steam. So you're using geothermal energy to so the heat of the ground yeah. to heat up water, yeah. which that water then comes through the pipes yeah. to make this hot enough so you can grow bananas. Absolutely, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, very nice. So let's break this down. Geo means earth and thermal means heat. So geothermal energy is the heat from the earth. It's clean and natural. And places like Iceland have loads of this energy because the region is highly volcanic. Water reservoirs heated naturally beneath the Earth's surface are channeled upwards through pipes, which pass through these greenhouses, heating them just like the radiators you have at home. So by running pipes of naturally heated water through these buildings, they're growing fruits that would otherwise have no chance of ever existing this far north. And it's not just bananas, oranges, grapes, tomatoes, cacti, pomegranates, wow. <laughs> look at that, coffee trees and figs. I never would have thought that all these fruit would grow in Iceland. It's the geothermal energy which is making it possible. So, so the food tastes good, but it's also good for Iceland and the environment. By growing food in their own country, using energy from the earth itself, Iceland could eventually cut down on food imports and energy usage linked with it. So Bakor and his team grow all of these fruit right here in Iceland, but they wouldn't be able to do it without geothermal energy.